HitPore Video Converter is an all-in-one multimedia software that can help you convert your videos and audios into more than 1,000 formats. Other features that you can find include online video editor, video screen recorder, watermark remover, and many more. And the best part is it is available for Mac and Windows operating systems. To download HitPo Video Converter, just run to your browser and just go straight to hitpo.net forward slash video dash converter, just like so. And I'll put this link in the description of this video. So you can come over. You can download the Mac version directly because I'm using Mac. If you are not using Mac, you're using Windows, you can always go ahead and say, I need the Windows version. You can just download it directly. The installation is very easy. It's just step by step. Once you follow through, you can just have it installed on your system. Once you kickstart HitPaw Video Converter, you'll be welcome to this very platform. Now, let me show you the basic things that you, are, you have to pay attention to. So these are, there are two pages here. This is converting, this is converted, okay? The files that you've converted, you will find them here. This is converting files that are well, or converting. You can add different file types from video, audio, or uh, you can add a complete folder if you're interested. And then over here, you can convert directly your folder, your video or your audio or the files that you've uploaded into all of these formats. You can see them from MP4 to Move to MKV to many more formats. You can convert them directly depending. These are video types, okay? These are video types you can convert 4K, uh, same as source 2k 1080p hd or they are about you can just choose accordingly this video format and these are audio formats of different types high quality medium quality depending you can go to mp3 or m4a or that wav file or aiff you can check and see different different types of format and when you select any you'll be able to say lossless quality which means it is going to convert it without losing the quality of that particular uh, file and then you have device it goes across even to different types of device you can convert across devices and even across social media you can easily generate videos and content for the social media you can convert your content very easily to suit the dimensions or the requirements of the social media over here you can define the path that you want to save the converted uh, document either here in this default folder which is going to be under your movies um, or you can select to browse to select a different folder you can define any folder of your choice for example in my own case i'm going to go with this hit spot and i'm going to save all my conversions in this folder and if you want to open the folder you can always click here to navigate to that folder and be able to see the content of it now over here you turn on this disable hardware acceleration uh, when you enable it it enables the file the conversion to be very very fast it's, uh, the same thing you can disable the lossless conversion so when you enable the lossless conversion, it's going to convert again without losing any of the quality. So that's conversion. If you want to, you can alternatively drag and drop files also from here to start the conversion. All right. Then you have other features like the editing features. You can do cutting, margin, uh, cropping, rotating filters, and so on. You can speed up a clip or thereabout. You can try this within the software. It's very, very interesting. And then one last one that I like is the toolbox. It contains a number of applications, different applications that you can just check around. You can see noise remover, voice vocal enhancer. You can see quite a number of them. These are AI features that can help you quickly convert and enhance your, your footage. So over here, you have the video image compressor, which we are going to use also in this tutorial. So you can directly click and start the, uh, compressing your video or your image but for today let's start with a video um, let's come back to convert and then let's start with a video you can just click on add file and we can come over to my desktop i have this heat pour converter i can just select any of the video files for example i want to add this overview uh, this is an mp4 i can just uh, import it this is an mp4 uh, this is a move file so this is a move file i want to convert it to mp4 uh, this move and i want to convert it to mp4 so just take note so this is convert to mp4 right so you can just go ahead and select again and say you want to convert it to mp4 and it's going to do that so you can see the conversion this mp4 and this is going to it's not going to lose the quality as you can see the sizing it's nearly the same okay so once i hit on convert as you can see it has already converted the the file and i must confess it's very very fast you can just click on this to be able to see it in the folder it has been converted and you can just double click and you're able to see it um and, and it plays nicely all right so this is the power of converting from mp4 um from move to mp4 and then you can come back and add more files let's say converting 
and let's add more file. So let's say I'm converting from WAV to MP3. Um, this is audio. Okay, so let's go ahead and select an audio. Uh, this import media is a WAV file. So let's select it. And then let's say I'm going to convert it to MP3. So you can select the conversion over here. This is audio. And I want it to go to MP3 high quality. Okay, so I can just go ahead and say convert. And it has just converted my file. So let's just check it converted so you can see it over here this is mp3 it has already converted for me all right so the next thing is let's try to see how we can compress a video and then maybe see how we can convert an image from the heic format into jpeg so we can do that with the from the toolkit we can go straight to the video image com compressor and we can just go ahead and click on it and then we can just come to the video over here so we can go ahead and drag and drop or we can add a particular video so for the compression of a video let's say we use this video uh, this particular one is about 2.33 gigabytes so i can just open it so let's go ahead and we're going to compress this from this size and it's going to give us an approximate amount of 1.08 gigabyte depending on the compression level we can vary the compression level from here and the quality you leave it at medium i think medium is good and without losing much of the quality, you can vary the, the compression level from here. We can go to as far as maybe 666 or uh, let's say about uh, 555. And then the quality uh, level, we can leave it at medium. So there is no much loss in quality and it's going to convert this video from 2.17 gig to this much. Okay, so all we need is just to go ahead and say compress. And it's just going to compress this all right so you can see over here it's just been compressed from 2.17 gigabytes to 161 megabytes and i think this is exceptionally wonderful you can click over here to have a look at the video you can just double click and the best part of it is the quality okay welcome to this course on the quality is superb okay so you can just go ahead and give it a try and see if you can try to compress your own video so this is compressing a video let's try to compress an image from here we can come to from the video section you can come to the image and we can click over here to find an image so let's go on to this i think i have this image of um, this uh, thumbnail is about 1.9 megabyte let's try to let's try to open it and see so you can see the sizing and i want to convert it probably i want to compress it okay so i want to have a very good quality and i can go, go ahead and say compress this image so i can just go ahead and say compress and in a matter of seconds it has been compressed so i think it's reasonably okay um as regards the compression you can always click here as, again to take a look at what has been compressed so this is it so uh, pretty much nearly same in terms of the quality okay so the last thing is let's try to convert an image from the .heic format into the jpeg so we can come to the toolbox over here and we're able to see okay image converter over here so you can just click on it and then navigate to find wherever you have that image. I have this .heic thumbnail and I can just select it and go ahead and open. All right, so this is the image. It's in .heic and I want to convert it to JPEG. So we can just go ahead and select convert to um, JPEG in this time around. So we can just go ahead and say convert all. And with just a simple click, you can see that same image has been converted to a JPEG. So you can see the quality is fantastic and it does a good job in the conversion. All right, so this concludes this tutorial on how to convert or uh, on how to use the HeatPaw video converter to convert our videos, our audios to any format or compress images to any format of your choice. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put in the link to the to HeatPaw software in case you are interested. Let's check out the pricing also. It's very important. Uh, heat pop pricing you can see it it's relatively cheap but then you can just check around and you have multiple uh, means of payment you can pay with paypal and other means and then these are the features that you are going to have access to the online the trial version and the registered version no limit on anything you can easily uh, work on it so please feel free to just go ahead and give this a try i wish you all the best and see you in my next video bye